Welcome to Blueprint IoT. In this video, we will take a quick look on how to download and install Tony. But before we do so, let's quickly clarify what Tony actually is. So it's basically an IDE for Python and MicroPython. So whenever you want to code something for Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi Pico, Tony is a pretty simple and basic way to do so. As you can see here already, the user interface is pretty old school, but that's totally fine because it works and it's super simple. So I think let's go ahead and just download it. And yes, this old school looking web page is the official page, so don't be confused by this. I will install it for Mac, so we'll just download this package here. Save it to downloads and here we go, already done. So let's get the website out of the way and start the package. We'll get a quick and proper installation window walking us through. And of course we need to agree to the license agreement and I will install it for all users on my computer so everybody can have fun and code in Python. Here you can see we need 141 megabyte to install. That's totally fine. It will ask you for your passcode. I quickly skipped this so you can, can't see my credentials. And here we go. Installation successful. You can close this window and move the installation file to the bin. I kind of tend sometimes to keep them so in case you're somewhere without internet or something you need to reinstall it or you want to send it to a friend quickly via via Dropbox or via Telegram or whatever you have the file already available or you can quickly copy it on a USB stick so I normally keep it but of course you can just trash it. So Tony should be installed and yes here we can find it in the launch pad just one click and it's already booting up. Here we go. We hit the button on the right bottom corner we click install MicroPython and now we can see the volume is selected and we can see it's exactly the volume we can see here on the right upper corner of the screen RPI RP2 that's the volume that's the name of the volume that's the name of our Raspberry Pi Pico so that's the right place for the MicroPython family we stick with RP2 and then for the variant we select whatever we have in my case I'm using a Raspberry Pi Pico 1 with W, so with Wi-Fi version. As you know, Raspberry Pi just launched a Pico 2 without Wi-Fi. If you are interested in all the details around this new Raspberry Pi Pico, make sure to check out our video about it. But for the moment, we are sticking with the Pico W. Doesn't matter if it's WH or only W. This is basically only if you have a header or no, not a header attached to the Raspberry Pi Pico when you buy it. So it's just a piece of hardware soldered to it. So doesn't matter the difference here for the software version we just select whatever is the latest version and then finally hit install. So we fast forward the video here a bit for this installation and copying process we need to allow this accessory to connect so our Raspberry Pi Pico which we do we get the message done everything is done so you can now just close it because it is already done don't get confused by this window not closing automatically. And what you can see now, as soon as you hit here the button in the corner again, now the Raspberry Pi Pico actually pops up. As you remember, the first time it didn't pop up, we had to install MicroPython in the first place. Now, since we did, the board actually gets detected. Also, if we go now to Configure Interpreter, down here, we can select now the USB Modem 101 which is the Raspberry Pi Pico. This didn't show up in the first place right after starting Tony for the first time. So that's super important that you're not getting confused by the sequence of doing things. First you need to install it, then you can select the right interpreter or here just by this pop-up menu the right board and uh, don't be confused that it, the board is not showing up right away in the, in the settings here in the interpreter in this area. There's maybe just a Bluetooth board showing up or some other some other ports, but not your Raspberry Pi. This is right in the first place. Yeah, don't get confused. Doesn't mean that your port is broken or something. You just need to install MicroPython as we did just now in the first place. Then the board will pop up here and also the board will pop up here in this area for your port. So especially if you're used to use the Arduino IDE with an ESP or something like this, you might get a bit nervous seeing in the beginning that your 
port is not showing up since it's a big problem with the ports and the Arduino IDE and maybe you're losing your port and you need to install drivers to get your ports popping up or something and that's basically what we did we installed the drivers that our port can pop up and we can connect to the board right away so before we go ahead and actually deploy the first code on our Raspberry Pi Pico to connect to Wi-Fi we will close this video here I hope it was helpful to you let me know if you want to see similar stuff with the ESP and MicroPython and see you otherwise in the next video where we connect the Raspberry Pi Pico to Wi-Fi using Tony as the IDE and MicroPython as the language. Thanks for watching, see you next time.